What are the shocking things that you did not know about the Korean War? Tears, pain, and gnashing of teeth. The Korean War had no mercy on its victims. What started as a conflict in 1950 soon escalated into a full-blown war, tearing apart the once unified Korean people and destroying many people's lives. And worse, this conflict seems to last forever, with no hope of ending anytime soon. At a certain time, the Korean people were divided into the North and South. This division was meant to be temporary, but tensions arose between the two occupying powers, so high that in 1948, separate governments were established in the North and South, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in the North and the Republic of Korea in the South. And that's not all. The two countries also had different political systems. While the DPRK was communist, the ROK was democratic and both claimed to be the legitimate government of all of Korea. The situation was further complicated by the fact that the Soviet Union and China supported the DPRK, while the United States supported the ROK. Now, aside from the origin, more terrifying events occurred during the war, some of which you didn't know about. But to understand why this happened, let's go back a bit to the end of World War II. From the unusual origins that led to horrifying acts of violence, a lot of brutal atrocities and covert operations, let's delve into the details of the Korean War. The Korean War and its Origins One of the most unusual things about the Korean War was its origins, which have a deeper root and takes us back in time to when both countries separated and tensions rose. At the time, Japan occupied Korea, which had annexed the country in 1910. When Japan surrendered in 1945, Korea was divided into two zones of occupation, the North, controlled by the Soviet Union, and the South, owned by the United States. Tensions continued escalating, and an unexpected disaster broke out on June 25, 1950. The North Korean forces launched a surprise attack across the 38th parallel, the line that divided the two Koreas. Military successes by North Korea marked the early months of the war, and by the end of August 1950, the invasion caught the South Koreans and their American allies off guard, and the North Koreans quickly took control of Seoul, the capital of South Korea, almost on the verge of conquering the entire country. However, the tides of the war soon turned. In September 1950, the United States and its allies landed at Incheon, a port city on the west coast of Korea. The landing also took the North Koreans by surprise, and United Nations forces quickly pushed the North Koreans back across the 38th parallel. The Korean War quickly became a brutal and bloody conflict, with both sides committing acts of violence. The Horrifying Massacre of Civilians in the Village of No Gun Ri In late July 1950, Hundreds of South Korean refugees had gathered in the village, trying to escape the advancing North Korean army. However, when the United States troops arrived, they mistook the refugees for North Korean soldiers and opened fire. Over the next three days, the United States soldiers fired on the refugees with machine guns, killing an estimated 250 of them. The North Koreans were also responsible for their fair share of atrocities. In 1950, they launched a campaign of terror against suspected political opponents killing thousands of people in the process. They also engaged in brutal acts of torture and executions and even resorted to using chemical weapons against South Korean civilians. During the war, the crimes committed by both sides seemed justifiable, but in 1999, a South Korean government commission officially recognized the No Gun Re Massacre in which U.S. troops killed hundreds of civilians who had taken refuge under a railroad bridge as a war crime. Biological and Chemical Weapons Another shocking part of the Korean War was the use of biological and chemical weapons. In the early 1950s, the North Korean military began experimenting with various biological agents, including plague, anthrax, and cholera. They even launched a covert operation to spread these diseases throughout South Korea, using everything from contaminated clothing to infected insects. It's estimated that tens of thousands of people may have been killed or sickened as a result. The United States, in turn, used napalm, a flammable gel that sticks to the skin and causes severe burns against North Korean troops and civilians. The use of biological weapons was not the only covert operation that took place during the Korean War. In fact, both sides engaged in a wide range of covert activities. One particularly interesting example of this was the U.S. military's use of brainwashing techniques on North Korean prisoners of war. These techniques aimed to get prisoners to confess to crimes they didn't commit and provide false information about their military capabilities. It was controversial and raised ethical concerns, but it helped the U.S. gain valuable intelligence about the North Korean military. POWs and MIAs The fate of thousands of prisoners of war and missing-in-action soldiers from both sides remains an issue even today. 
As of 1990, some American POWs were held hostage in North Korea long after the war came to a pause, while some North Korean and Chinese POWs were never returned to their home countries. To date, no one knows the fate of those never returned, where they are, or if they're still alive. Man disappears and later found in a bizarre situation. This was yet another strange occurrence during the Korean War. In September 1951, a United States Marine named Corporal Cloud Batchelor disappeared during a firefight with North Korean troops. A patrol later found Batchelor, but he was completely naked and had no memory of what had happened to him. Batchelor's case is still unsolved, and theories about what happened to him range from amnesia to alien abduction. The incident, however, became the basis for the 1992 film Without Warning. Involvement of World Powers in addition to the use of covert operations, the Korean War was also notable for the involvement of several powerful world leaders. Perhaps the most surprising of these was Joseph Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union. Despite not being directly involved in the conflict, Stalin provided significant military and logistical support to North Korea, helping to ensure that the war would drag on for several years. Other world leaders who played a role in the conflict included U.S. President Harry Truman and Chinese Premier Zhu Enlai. Soviet and Chinese involvement. During the war, North Korea also sought the support of the Soviet Union and China. However, it was only in the 1990s that the extent of their involvement was fully revealed. The Soviet archives, declassified after the fall of the Soviet Union, showed that Soviet pilots flew combat missions for North Korea, while Chinese troops also participated in large numbers. Mass destruction. As with any war, the conflict led to the displacement and suffering of millions of people. However, the Korean War was notably worse in this regard. The fighting destroyed countless homes and infrastructure, leaving many homeless and lacking basic necessities. In addition, both sides engaged in a deliberate campaign of targeting civilians to end their lives, leading to widespread death and suffering. Impact on International Community The Korean War also had a significant impact on the international community. It was the first major conflict of the Cold War era and, as such, it had far-reaching geopolitical implications. The war was fought between the U.S.-led United Nations forces and the Soviet-backed North Korean and Chinese armies, and it ultimately helped to shape the balance of power between these rival superpowers. The United Nations quickly intervened, with the Security Council passing a resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire and the withdrawal of North Korean forces from South Korea. However, the Soviet Union was boycotting the Security Council at the time, so it was able to block any action against North Korea. Sadly. The Korean War cannot be talked about in the past tense because no peace treaty was signed and both governments are still at loggerheads with each other. It's been a long time coming and the damages caused are terrible. We hope they resolve their issues and make peace as quickly as possible.